Hello, all you magical tomatoes, and welcome back to Mother 2. Beep, 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 beep. I'm just a faint memory. You don't usually remember me, but you've heard my song in the back of your mind. That's so cute. I wonder if that's the song that comes from the Magic Stone or not. Not really sure. But anyways, welcome to Magic Tent, everybody. We got talking, dancing flowers, a talking sign or a clock, I don't remember, and, you know, giant tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, alright. You do what you want to do, Sunflowers. We'll just get to go on a merry way, okay? Brian, did you learn how to tell what time I'm indicating? I mean, yes, it looks like you are 12.15 and somewhere around there. Depending on if that's the actual time inside Magic Hand, who knows? But in here it's a department store which sells a earth pendant as well as magic pudding. Which I already bought a earth pendant, but I wanted to show you guys that just in case, you know, you don't have a sea pendant on you. It does about half of that, so it's good to have in case, you know, you left it either on like Polo or something like that, you don't have it stored or anything. I say that because that's something that's upcoming, which I'm not going to spoil, unless you guys already know that, you know, that you guys know. Brian, maybe you don't want to hear this, but you remind me of me when I was younger. I can't do anything anymore for you. Good luck, Brian. Okay, bye, Everdread. Right, right, because it just disappears out of the mine. This is like, what? Where did you go? Where do you go? And also, this is another thing neat about Magic Hand is that some of the NPCs in here change the color palette. So you can literally decide what you want for, I would say, the first half of this area. I just got hiccups, a couple of hiccups, so. If you just have, like, rounded plates in the middle of a conversation, that's what's up. <laughs> This is the realm of magic hand, which your mind created. Why don't you explore your mind, Brian? Take your time. Oh, thank you, Rabbit. That we will do because this place is actually really interesting. Just like Moonside, which I'm pretty sure both are inside the brain, too. <laughs> Brian, you stood on the eighth power spot of the Earth. From these, you created magic hand, the realm of your mind. In magic hand, there's beauty, kindness, sorrow, and hatred. Of course, there's an evil side and a violent side of you. The Sea of Eden. Or Eden, if you pronounce it that way. I'd warp. You know, how do you pronounce this, guys? For me, I usually say, like, both Eden or Eden. It just kind of becomes whatever, but could be said differently. Who knows? So I just thought I would ask you guys that. <laughs> the Sea of Eden sits in the center of those feelings. It takes you to the truth about yourself. How interesting. And now the color is dark and the rabbit pretty much just camouflaged into that bush. <laughs> oh, I think it became a brighter color, I'm not really sure. Brother Brian, the Sea of Eden is the end of Magic Cat. Other people can't get close to it. It's a strange place. Is there anything that I could do for you? No, thank you. What the heck? Well, see ya. Okay, bye. Thanks for changing the color palette back. Oh, Brian, are you tired from traveling and adventures? I am not, because we went to the Year's Night Tree, which rested us. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, that's right. You can't even talk about being tired at a time like this. Be strong. Well, do, Mother, and nice pastel color. I love it so much. I love pastels and neon colors, actually. <laughs> I looked at your house before you were born. Brian used to be a small and weak boy. <laughs> I don't know if that's him cheering on or if he's just whining and complaining that we've grown up now. <laughs> Who knows? Or maybe that, you know, he's not the child of the house. Anyways, it doesn't matter though. You give my butt badly. I won't forget it. And now it goes to a dark green and or brown color? I don't really know. But we also got belt slash burp now. <laughs> and now back to the purple palette, okay? Hello? It's me. I'm you when you were younger. Hey, let's play ball. Do you prefer reading comics or playing games? What? You're busy. Yeah, sorry, dude. And now it's orange. Just makes me think of creamsicles, and I love it. Oh, hello, hotel. Please rest. The dream you'll have here is a dream within a dream. Your heart knows things you aren't aware of. Do you want to sleep? No, thank you. Okay. If you walk outside, beware of the monsters. Well, thank you for the warning. And 
You had to be an interactor at TV. <laughs> Great sense. It looks like it's just a drawing. Doodle Bob or something like that. I know the name of the girl that you still like. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That also means that when this snowman was spelled, Brian was probably thinking of the girl that he likes, which who knows that would be. Who that would be, that is. Okay, PS Caramel there, we had a long line of people. Who knows what they're waiting for, though. Thank you for remembering me. You're welcome, tall snowman, I love you. We already talked to little O'Brien over here. So let's just talk to a few of these guys, then. I'd like you to take your time. Because the country will disappear when you wake up. Or just country, not the country. <laughs> Peace. We haven't played together lately. Yuck, yeah. <laughs> the hidden monkey doesn't even get translated, it's just Kekya. Which probably means he's probably talking to a younger one and or... You know, one that he met as a kid. Who knows? Fresh! Fresh what though? Fresh Shabakadu? <laughs> Ryan! Pokey took my stacks. Well, how rude of him. Must you go on this side to talk to her? Otherwise, we'll just talk to the next person. La 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 la! My name is Nico! Let's run and sing and dance! I mean, sure, let's do that, I guess. <laughs> that actually sounds like fun. I like singing and dancing. I can't dance well, though. I should really get some dance practice. If you guys have any, like, simple dancers or something that I would be able to learn, send them to me. Because I'm always interested in that. Or especially if you dance yourself. Let me know. <laughs> yeah, long time to see, Brian. Are you scared to see us or what? Wow, Brian, let's play. I mean, not right now. We don't got time. Can't interact with the pillar though, and there's Porky right there. We had fun on the snowy days. I melted, but I'm still real in your memory. That is very true. Do you have any memories like that, guys? I know for me, I remember just breaking an igloo outside the home and then the snowy just right beside it. It's fun times. <laughs> fun times. Now, I don't remember what voice Porky has, so he just changes every time. So let's go. Brian, you're so lucky. I envy you. I have no luck. But Brian, well, okay. Let's be friends forever, alright? Okay, Porky. <laughs> Whatever you say, buddy. And then he turned evil, so I assume that, you know, that was before he turned evil, and that's all I'm gonna leave for that. I'm gonna put two and two together later for you guys. Or you guys will that whatever. Talk is weird, guys. Talk is weird. It's amazing that we could do it in the first place. <laughs> I am encouraged. I will follow you here in Magic Camps. My name the Save Flying Man. Now we have Flying Man with us, which acts exactly like the teddy bear, which means we are definitely going to have monsters outside, like well with Satan. So we're gonna try to keep him alive as much as we can, but we'll see about that. So we just feel bad when they just get yeeted. This is Buzz Buzz Tombstone. Tom, tombstone. Tombstone is what I meant to say. <laughs> also, sorry, I like back to you guys there. I'm gonna remove the pop filter up here. So, hopefully, that doesn't make an earthquake for you. Oh, Buzz Buzz. We missed you, buddy. He appeared earlier in the game and gave up the ghost. And gave up the ghost? I don't know what that means. But I will. Before he achieved his goal. Because they say that he just. He, I don't even know, but it doesn't matter. Bro, I feel real the pain when you pulled at me. Well, I mean, you're the one that attacked us, so it's not like we really had to do anything, but I don't even think we could run away from you guys. The sea of Eden is filled with the ultimate intelligence. You can't go to close to it unless you're truly ready. This place is where you can touch the truth of the universe. Going there may bring sorrow. That is deep. That is deep. But here we go. I don't know if the color palette changes back and forth. It probably does. Now the music is really relaxing. And already getting attacked by a... A present. I don't think it's just a loaded dice. So, I don't even know what that would mean in this case. Like, does it just topple down or something like that? A... Good job, Flying Man. At least that's what I think this video did it. But also, we're gonna try to avoid as much enemies as we can for something that's also upcoming. Let's just say it's the mother load of all mother loads. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Hey, it's me. I found a cap that you lost. Oh, well, thank you, me. I appreciate that. 
But we're not gonna who equipped it though because it is lower than what we already have. Not true, but I think it is on other. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely lower. So we're just gonna keep the shining coin here. And in this present, we got ourselves a bag of Dragonite, baby. Which means it is the second bag of Dragonite that we actually have. So that's cool. And I know it's probably supposed to be planets, but it kind of looks like there's eyeballs inside of the water. And there's lots of question marks there. <laughs> Goodness. A lot. So we're gonna go up above, because I think up here there's actually a present. Yes, perfect. Try to get everything that we can, because I don't believe we can actually get back here later on, so... You know, we gotta be thorough here, guys. And there's a goddess band outside of here. Okay, we are going to be equipping that then. Oh, only goes up by like 10. But 10 is better than none. Also, I wonder if we can manage to actually keep the flying man with us till the end. wonder if he'll come with us to the subconscious world again, or I guess back to the other world. Oh no, I'm sorry flying man, I didn't want that to happen. But the loaded dice didn't let us run away. Now we can go back and actually get the other ones, but I don't really feel like doing that just because I don't want another loss. I just feel so bad that it just got heated like that. But also I'm really thinking about it, I wonder what role that has this hot brass member. Like is that like an imaginary friend? Obviously it says it's you know his courage, but still, that does that mean like, the courage is just solely depleting or what? I don't really know. Excuse me, stop calling out for help. <laughs> I like how the eyeballs are just greeting us. Yes, I will just try to get rid of the uh, dice first so it doesn't call out for more help. Plus this too, all that does is nothing, apparently. But literally nothing too, because it will just reflect back 300 Frank the Franklin badge on us. And even if we didn't have the Franklin badge on us, we have the C pendant now, so it should just absorb the attack and do nothing. And well, only one electric attack there, so this dude, oh, it actually did a normal attack, it didn't just try to do an electric attack to us, so we'll take that. Dude, can you just say, go, can you can it reflect and then destroy you? Thank you, I appreciate that. I also like how it's called this electric swoosh. <laughs> it's like, why swoosh? And you, oh, I was gonna say, are we actually good to go? Well, that was a very chaotic fight, but we made it at the end anyways. That also took about three minutes, so that's kind of why I wanted to just try to get away from the loaded dice. But I didn't even see it. Ooh, the magic hand bat. We'll definitely take that. I don't know if it's going to be really helpful or not. We're going to yes, use the brain food just in case he needs more. There we go. Just tops over both things, so why not? And let's see if... It does more. Oops, it's actually a weapon. So, oh, a little bit more of the defense side. So, yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Oh, yes, butterfly, please. Ah, thank you. And I'll just say, Brian, relax. And I wonder if this point, if we bought the bicycle, I wonder if the bike would actually be useful down here. Okay, it was actually a gift, which has a magic tart inside. Okay, so let's just use the PS Caramel then, so we can get some more, uh, BB here. Magic Tart, which I believe does the same thing as Magic Pudding, which would just recover BP, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it covers about 20, so we'll also use that, because we need to recover some more. Oh, wonder, no, we didn't lose a path, I don't think. I like how that question mark was just trying to attack us, and I was like, hmm, never mind, I just went the other way. <laughs> oh, it's one of these deaths. Can I run away from you, please? Fingers crossed? No. Darn. Fucking jerk. I'm so tempted to just use a bomb on it, but we're not gonna do that. So hopefully that means this guy would actually be a lot easier. Aside from it using super bombs on us, of course, but we could probably cancel out the health. Fingers crossed here, we're just going to spam A, we're just going to just try to beat it. And of course, it dodged quickly, so we'll just auto-fight so that Brian can heal himself here. There we go. 
So with all that noise there, that means we're about to just, like, go. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> I think really we do have a lot of PP, so there's that for us. I'm gonna try to... No, but there's a butterfly over there. It's probably... Yeah, it's gone now. Just try to not run into all those guys. And... No, they're still there. So I wonder if we can lure one, though. Because ideally, otherwise it's just going to be a really big fight again. Okay, fine. We'll go and fight them then. While we go through this fight, because they should be done soon enough here. But... <laughs> Magic Hand actually looks slightly different in the Japanese version, but more so, Ness did. Because <laughs> in the Japanese version, he actually doesn't wear anything. So, <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. That's why at the end of the episode, the end of the last episode, I just started laughing. That guy's probably a bomb dude, so we'll get to try to just, like, sneak past it. He thinks I don't mind, because I'm pretty sure you do the small dude to get on the end. so cute. I love how there's molecules, so I wonder if in here he's dreaming about science class or something like that. Really no, what do you guys think? What do you guys think he's trying to dream of? Okay, yes, yes, we'll use PK Rockin. I wonder 40 this time because apparently these guys are just really strong. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, they are actually pretty strong because the second one did about 100, 200 damage. Not the A, but beta. So it's like, ooh, boy. And we could just make it to the end. Uh, this is probably going to be a bombing. No, oh, okay. We thought we get dead to see what's through. So, so it's good to see if Eden we go or not. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go up here. And here we are, guys. The Sea of Eden. So here is where I will leave it then. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. In the next episode, we have a good going through here, which should be fairly quick. I don't remember if this is a large area or not, but either way, we're going to be facing a boss though, so... <laughs> thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up, slap that subscribe button, Ring the bell for notifications, that would be very lovely, and I would <laughs> love you forever, I guess. <laughs> Say something down in the comments down below, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.